Good morning, kindergarten. I just came back from a beautiful run and now I'm ready to teach you guys and talk to you about some things we're learning today. Let's get started with some singing and dancing. Before I get started, you probably know the song by now, so I wanna hear you singing it, okay? Dancing and singing, got it? Okay. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A spear, a cinder, a cube, and a cone, and a pyramid. Remember that in the pyramid part, okay? I actually told my mom over there that she needs to do the and the pyramid part. KV. I call my mom KV. I know you're making dinner, but you have to sing the in and the pyramid part. Okay. Let's see if she does it. Okay, well, let's do the dance. Ready, you guys? Here we go. A 3D shape expert. Ready? Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A baseball, the moon, and an orange I have right here are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a sphere. A basketball, the earth, and marbles I have here are all examples of a 3D shape that people call a sphere. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A soda can, a pencil shaft, and a can of soap would be examples of a cylinder, as you can plainly see. A marker, a glass of milk, and a peanut butter jar are all examples of a cylinder. Yes, I'm sure they are. Here are the 3D shapes that I know. A sphere, a cylinder, a cube, and a cone. A nice cube, a cardboard box, that and a Christmas present for you. I appreciated it. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, let's move on to our next thing. I think we are going to our morning message, so let me do a screen share for you guys. Screen share, screen share. I really should have a special song for doing my screen share. Screen share, screen share. Um, doodaloo, doodaloo present. Here we go. Hello, let me get my pointers out. Hello, pyramids. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Today is Addie's guessing jar during Zoom time. We have to try and outguess Mrs. Florio. I'll invite her in. It is going to be a great day. We love you. Love Miss Vivort and Mrs. Florio and Miss Vivort's mom. Right, mom? Yes. She likes you guys. She's been seeing you on Zoom a good amount. Um, let's move on to our next thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, how about Thursday sight words? Okay, let's show everyone how strong we are. Oh, Thursday sight words. Here we go. Attention. R A R E R. Remember, there's only 15, so keep it going strong. A A A. That one is so ridiculous. I can't believe we do it. An A N An. I also think that one's crazy because it's too easy. At A T At. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Am A M Am. I gotta mix these up. And, A N D and. Blue, B L U E, blue. I think I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger. I thought that was. Can I do that? Better, right? White, W H I T E, white. Want, W A N T, want. Black, B L A C K, black. Brown, B R O W N, brown. Like Mickey Brown, with W I T H, with the T H E, the was W A S, was 
we, W E we. We're almost done, you guys. I can feel it. Hey, guess what? I was right. We are done. Nice job. And let's move to our next thing. Oh, it's time for a special Sankar Rate. Who's that, Mom? Oh. oh, Mom, can you do special sound karate with us? Do what? Special sound karate. Okay, get ready, you guys. Ready? Bow your sensei. Choing! T H. You probably just noticed I have two different socks on. C H. S H Sh Excellent. Okay, I promise we're gonna add to these you guys starting today because we have something new we're learning in writing and reading. Let's go to our next thing. Up oh, 3D shapes poem. Are you ready? Today we're gonna be writing our 3D shapes. Let's get this up. Awesome. Where's my special thing? Doo -doo -doo. That's okay. Okay, you guys ready? Let's read it together. 3D shapes are fat, not flat. Make sure you're reading. A cone is like a party hat. A sphere is like a bouncy ball. A prism is like a building tall. A cylinder is like a can of pop. A cube is like the dice you drop. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. Good reading, you guys. I'm sure you're doing great over there. So I know a lot of you guys are doing reading A to Z. Let me see if I can annotate. Now, yesterday we did circled all of our sight words with purple. So you, if you have this printed out, this is your chance to write all of your sight words down. I know it's gonna feel kind of like, ugh, right? So I'm gonna go quickly and see, I'm gonna just write down 10. And let's just say today, if you're feeling like, ugh, I can't do this, just write down 10, that's all you have to do. So let me annotate and I'm gonna write down with black, right, because, and let's see how my computer handwriting is. You guys, it might not be very good, but I could try, right? Let's move this bar. Okay. Okay, the first sight word I see, oh, let's get our pointer off. First sight word I see is, sorry, there we go, is R, A, R, E, R. Awesome. The next sight word I see, which is kind of hard, so please move this, please. There we go. Is how about let's skip a too easy, right? Let's do is and like. Remember, I said only 10. No, it's not working because I did that. Sorry, friends. Technology is very, very difficult sometimes. Okay, is and like ready. I nope, oh, it changed on me. Is here we go, like, L-I-K-E, like, it looks like my, my handwriting is actually kindergarten handwriting, and is and like again, is and like, this means tomorrow, you guys, we get to do our illustration, which is the best part, and I'm going to join you guys and do an illustration too. Let's skip the is and like again, and let's do the and you. T, H, E, maybe you're ahead of me, maybe you're behind me, that's totally fine, you do your thing. Is and you. And R. And here is not one, right, you guys? I think and. And we'll do R one more time and call it a day. Hey, I have pretty good handwriting for writing on a computer, don't you think? I think it looks pretty good. Good job, Miss V. Okay, let's 
Good job, friends. Let's erase that. Make sure you get those sight words in there. Okay, and we're not gonna do our dance today because I don't wanna take forever on this. And let's go to our next thing. Okay. Guess what, you guys? I have some exciting news. We have a special guest here with us today. And she is super excited because she misses you guys so much. Um, you ready to come on? Okay. Yep, we can wait for you, don't worry. Okay, she's ready. You guys ready to see her? <laughs> it's Rosie! It's okay, Rose. You don't need to be nervous. Hi. I've been in back of the car for a very, very long time. I'm sorry, Rose. I had nowhere else to keep you. I had to keep you in the back of the car. She doesn't like that. Whatever. Well, today I thought that, Rose, you can help me introduce the kindergartners to something new in reading and writing. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds really nice. Okay, we're going to teach them. They've learned their digraphs, right, you guys? <gasps> you guys know your digraphs? Do you know shh and and shh? Mm -hmm. They know them. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we could teach them about sneaky E. Sneaky E! <gasps> sneaky E is my favorite. It's your favorite? Why is it your favorite? It's just super, super cool and special. I love sneaky E. Okay, well, I'm so glad you're so excited about it. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna show them like a kind of a PowerPoint presentation and you're gonna help me read. Can you help them read? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, let's get going, you guys. I'm gonna do a little bit of a screen share for you guys so you can see. Share screen. What's happening? Just chill out, Rosie, don't worry. Okay, we're gonna go to our untitled presentation. I'm recording, Dad, so just give me a second, okay? <gasps> That's him! That's Nikki E! I know, Rosie, calm down. It's not actually him, it's just a picture of him on the screen, okay? So everyone, today we're gonna to be learning about something called Sneaky E. I'm having a little bit of a hard time because I'm trying to use my left hand. Let's go like that. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so this is Sneaky E. So we're gonna review some things first. And the first thing we review is our short vowel songs. So everyone remembers the vowel bat. Remember, A, E, I, O, U, vowel bat. And we've learned that A says ah, but it also says A. Yep, that's right. It says ah, and it says a. But my question is, why does it say a sometimes? Have you guys ever read a word before and sometimes you do flippy dolphin and you make it say, you flip the vowel sound and you make it say something else? Yeah, I've done that. Okay, well, cool. We're looking at this word right now and can you read it for me, Rosie? It says t a t. Good job, can you blend that for me? Ta, wow. Rosie, you're such a good puppet. Aww. Tot, that's the word tot, friends. Now watch what happens when sneaky E sneaks behind the word and changes the way it sounds. Let's check it out. Okay, so that's the word. What is it again, Rosie? Tot, like a little toddler. <gasps> Did you guys just see what happened? He just snuck on there, the back of it. And now it's gonna be a totally different sounding word. Are you guys ready? Flip it off into that vowel sound. Let's try it out. You guys ready? T o t. Tote? Why is it saying tote? Because sneaky e comes on the back, and now the vowel can only say its name. It only can say its name. So do you see that o right there, friends? That o is gonna say its name because sneaky e came on the back. It's not gonna say anymore it's gonna say oh okay let's read that word tote that's awesome great job friends let's look at the next one 
Okay, can you read it for me, Rosie? Yeah. Okay. M a d mad. Okay, back it up. Back it up on the screen, Rosie. Just relax. Okay. Mad. You guys can read that word, right? Now, a is saying its sound. It's short sound. Ah, ah, ah. But if Sneaky E comes in the back, watch what's gonna happen. She's gonna say her name. <gasps> there he is. Oh. There he is, Rosie. Don't be afraid. It's just sneaky E. Okay, there he is. Now A is gonna say its name. Let's try it out now. Mm aid. Can you try it, Rose? Mm aid. Made. Do you see what happened? Mad turned into made. Yeah, you're right. Mad turned into made. That's super cool. Let's try the next one, okay, friends? Now with this one. We're going to mark it. I wanna show you guys how to mark these vowels. There's special things that you do, like first grade, second grade. You don't really have to know this. This is kind of like extra knowledge in case you wanna be super great at it, okay? Can you read this word for me, Rosie? Uh, s, us. Oh, like the word us. I see what happened. Let's mark it together, okay? Rosie, I'm gonna actually kind of switch you around over here so that I could use my right hand. Now she's over here. Hey, Rose. Okay, let's work on this a little bit together, friends. Oh, is it working? Oh, sneaky popped up. I'm gonna have to do it on the next one. Let's work on this one anyway, ready, you guys? Okay, sound it out for me, Rose. Use. What's that word? Use. Oh, I see. You says its name because Sneaky E is there. Now, Rosie, do you notice something about Sneaky E? What? Sneaky E, you don't hear it. It's totally silent. Do you guys see how he's there, but we don't say anything when he's at the end of the word? Do you see that? So look, use, use. It's not use, eh, right? It's sneaky silent, okay, okay. I'm ready for the next one. Oh, oh, look at this one, okay. P, E, T. Pet. Do you got that, Rose? P, E, T. Pet. Okay, we got that one. That's what the short vowel sounds. So E is saying, remember, we stretch out our, our lips and we go, E, 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 right? Get ready. Here comes sneaky E, Rosie. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let's read it together. Remember, E is going to say its name, not its short vowel sound, okay? Try it out, Rose. P eat. You guys, check this out. Lucy wants to get in on the reading. Lucy, seriously, can you leave us alone? Thanks. P eat. Did you hear what Rosie said? P eat. Pete, like the name Pete, right? That's awesome. It changed into a totally different word. And one more, you guys, let's read it together. K it, kit, kit. And here we go. Here's E. E is gonna be totally quiet and it's gonna be k i t. Ready? Here we go. K i t. Blend it together. Kite. What's that word? Kite. Nice job. Awesome. Hey friends, we have a page right here and I wanna just look at it with you. You don't have to do anything at home. Rosie, I'm actually gonna need both my hands right now. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, Rosie, say bye to everyone. Bye. That was a little extreme, but I appreciate your passion. Rosie, thank you so much for helping us read. We'll talk to you soon, okay? You won't stay in the back of the car forever. I promise, I'll let you out. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Okay. No, no, Lucy. You guys, Lucy thinks, Lucy thinks that Rosie is a dog toy. Lucy, Lucy, you, no. You better mind your own business. Ugh, that dog. So everyone, here we have some short and long vowel A activities, okay? So you're noticing here, all these words have what vowel? Right in the middle, sandwich in the middle. It's an A. So let's go through and read some, okay? I'm gonna use my pointer. Oop, oh no, we gotta go back, sorry you guys. Here's my pointer. Okay, let's look at this word right here. Okay, I see a sneaky E, don't you? 
Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I'm actually gonna annotate this, I'm gonna teach you that special thing I wanted to do before. Okay, is, okay. Remember E, let me turn my pointer off now. I think we can. Okay, E, what's gonna happen is we're gonna cross it out and we're gonna put a nice long line on top, top of the A. That long line means that A is gonna say its name, okay? So let me do some black right there and let's do a little bit. Okay, so let's say this word together, C ape, cape. This word over here does not have a sneaky E. So I'm gonna put a little smiley face on top of the A and that shows me that A is gonna say its special sound that we're used to it saying. A says ah, 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 right? C app. Great, let's do the rest of them together. I see a sneaky E, I'm gonna cross it out because I don't hear it. And now my A is gonna have a nice long line on top of it because it's gonna say it's long sound. A, it's saying its name, right? Let's say this word together. Mm, aid, made, awesome. What about this one over here, you guys? Do you see a sneaky E? So I put a little smiley face, and that means A is gonna say its sound. Ah, 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 fat, fat, awesome. Let's do two more, friends, before we go on to the next thing, because I really want to make sure we have enough time for that. Do we see a sneaky E here? Mm -mm. Smiley face, and read with me. Er, at, rat. And one more over here. Cross out my sneaky E, and a long line on top of the A says F eight, fate. Awesome. Okay, let's go to our next thing, friends. Oop, okay, I guess I can't. Maybe I have to erase. Let's see if it lets me. Okay, exit out. And let's go to our next screen. Okay, everyone, right here on this video, what I want you to do is I want you to, when I'm done explaining, I want you to pause and I want you to write some words down that you find have the long A sound in it. Remember, long A, means there's probably gonna be a sneaky E there. A is saying its name. I'm gonna explain these pictures to you and then we'll pause the video and I want you guys to seek and find. That's what this activity is called. Can you find some of the things on here that have the long A sounds? Okay, so let me take my pointer out and I'm gonna say all these words just like how I would explain at a center with you guys. Make sure you say it with me, ready? This is the word plain. Snake, say it. Cake, nine, note, kite, skate, rake, whale, that one's tricky. Mm. Robe, ace, cave, flake, frame, and tube. Okay, so I'm gonna do one for you just because I want you to show you what, how it's, what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna seek and find one of the words here that has a long A sound, okay? So the first one I see is the word snake, okay? I'm gonna just do the first one for you. Everyone else, you guys are gonna write the words for. The word is snake, so let's finger spell together, ready? S-n-a-k. One more time, snake. I hear a blend at the beginning, don't you? Snake. And then what comes at the end? <gasps> Silent E, sneaky E, ready? So here I go, I'm gonna write it right here. S my handwriting is really pathetic because I'm writing on a computer. Sn a k. And now if I didn't put the sneaky E, it would be the word snack, right? So we wanna make sure we put our sneaky E in there. And now it says snake. Awesome. Okay, so pause the screen right now. And everyone, I want you to try and find all 10 long A sound. Remember, A is going to say its name. Awesome. Everyone, that's um, all for us today. So I am going to let you guys work on that right now. And hopefully I'll see you guys at one o'clock for our Zoom meeting. I can't wait to see you there. Love you guys so much. Bye.